Krishna as a crying boy. Um, nothing really happened. Well, Mubad, I saw Mubad miss call on Saturday. And um, when I was when I saw the miss call, I was shocked. And I was like, oh, my Mubad called me. Then I called him back immediately. And he told me, Prime, can I come over? And he let just chill. And he's missing me, you understand? And I said, OK. Immediately when I heard the news, I, I ran to I ran to my friend and I'm going to the island, this, that. Then they said no problem, that they would join me soon because the next day is my brother's birthday. So even everybody will be there too. So and I said, okay, but me, I'm going today because I need to be with Mobad. And getting to the island, I got to the island in the evening around seven something. So getting there, I saw Mobad in the parlor with his with some guys, with his boys, playing with his kids. Then immediately I dropped my bag and pick his kid and I started playing with him. We greeted each other and asked me what did I want. I said, no, I don't want NSC this time. Go and get me Chelsea this time. And he, go, he went, he sent someone to go and get me a bottle of the Chelsea. And when we were drinking, having fun, talking, he was, he was playing some old videos for me on YouTube and we were having fun. Then the next thing he told me, um, he forgot to told me that um, he's having a show in Ikorudu. Um, that is tomorrow. And I said, ah, tomorrow, I ah, should have told me now. Tomorrow is my brother's birthday too. Then he told me that, okay, let's do it this way. He said, um, Ibrahim, we, um, we, after that show, I will invite my brother to come to his house in um, Royal Pine, and he will celebrate another birthday for him. And I accepted, and oh, okay, it's another celebration, and my brother will be happy to be with you as well. So we get into the show. We, when we got to a Butemeta, and his wife, and as in him and his wife started having some arguments, eating arguments, which I don't even... Like the way, I don't even, you know, I, I don't need to interfere in that family issue. So I was just looking, but the, the, the matter keep popping up. Like, I don't understand. Even after the show, even after the show, and I, I, I spot Mobad to the car, and I said, wait, let me go and clear the road. I started clearing the road, and I was hearing that, calm down. You, no car can leave here now until Lantana and other artists, because we came in together with convoy. So only you can leave. Well, I noticed Mobad was angry, and because he don't want to stay in the car with his wife. Because they were having one or two, but it was eating to me. But Mobad was not happy that I was the one telling him, Oh, they go she be by looking my soft go go matter LA. And that was what I was just telling him. And he was angry that I did not give him the chance like to like to pour his mind out at that moment. And I told him, This is not where you will do this. When you get home, then solve your family problem. This is the show. This is you are here to have fun. Just smile and he wants to come down from the car. And I was like, don't come down from the car. I was sitting here. His wife was sitting down at our middle. And Mobad was sitting down there. And his wife, his wife was holding uh, Liam. That was his son. So I was not like, if you can see your son here, you don't need to do all this. Then he came down and turned. Like, maybe my own is getting too much. Maybe in his family. And he asked me, he just opened the door. And, because there was security with him. Army, on Yabo. Because they were shocked that Mobad came down without going on stage. So they were they they followed him to where I was sitting and then he opened the car. I was like, oh, kilo shere, bye. He started eating me and saying that prime, prime. I said kilo shere. Next thing say we have bole. Bole, So I was just smiling, saying it. So I want me, I want go, I want go. Maybe I want shere. Due to what I was still smiling. So the next thing I saw uh, is taking a person and the military and the, they saw uh, this one is taking a person. So they hold his hand and they held his hand and said, okay, prime, you come down and go. Then I came down from the car and I, I found my way. I went straight to the stage to meet Kubana chief priest and explained to him that, sir, I don't understand what's going on. That um, I don't understand that Mubad is my childhood friend. And when all of a sudden he asked me to get out from the car, he started eating me. Because I, I don't know what's going on. Then the Kobana chief priest asked me, okay, stay here. Let me go and make findings of what is going on. Then I left. I, I now, he asked the security, watch over him. Don't let him leave here. Then I said I won't. Then I stood. Then immediately, me checking out. Let me go his Kobana chief priest. I'm waiting for him to come and give me feedback. I just, I, everywhere was empty. Both the Prado. We bought like 15 Prados or 10. With the general boss, everyone, we came together and everywhere, like, dry immediately. So I was shocked. So I only called my director. Ah, I can't come out of this ghetto. You know, all these um, that are there. I don't want them to wound me. Then he said I should hold on. He called someone that is living around that town hall and said, ah, hello, go. And that, that person seems to be someone that went to man Lugong Gonfuni one church. You know, Lua, Lua, Bono, Mamma, 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 Mamma,
on lo wa find bi mo se ku orin bi ben to find mo iku mi ben to gbe okada so di ba se ku mi ben pelu okada to ko la omo ta yan de book over a de di ma ti director mi a de gba island lo lo si apartment am bro mi tin se birthday and i explain what happened to him that this that think pe think pe mi am o ba le n pe we have little for and he asked me to get him from his car this that think pe but that does not stop me from celebrating with you so i came back for your birthday and that was all then we started having fun this that then on monday like it happened on and i was on the island on monday so on monday and, I, and my bag is inside a prado with my director bag so and i i told i told my director i need my bag you know my passport is inside that bag so I, and i can't risk leaving my passport there so how will i get it then i text umi which is my bad wife that's cynthia i said cynthia i need my bag and my director's bag and he's traveling tonight he need what is inside the bag and she told me um don't come here for now it's any she texts it and i even said i have the proof of everything so and she said don't come here for now i said don't come here for now about it. so i just i started texting her she did not reply me so i text um some mobile friends um boys that was lifestyle already so i text lifestyle and lifestyle said okay you, you saw the bag that, that i should not be hungry about what happened i said no it's my me and my body will soon call me now and everything will be over between us so it's just no matter so jo, i just need my bag and that one said okay he has already seen the bag and he helped me gather the bag and he said he's not at home now but you give me someone number that will go and get. so i sent my director to drive there with uber that helped me go there go and get my bag I'm, I'm, I was in the apartment at my brother's birthday, so my director went there and they gave him the bag, which which with my own bag with his own bag. My director, they gave him the bag, my own bag, and his own bag that was that was left it because we can't go back and take the bag because of the incident that happened. So, and I, I asked my director when you get there, what were they doing? He said oh, he's not seen bad, but he saw his boys playing table tennis in the compound, so they just opened the gate and passed my own bag to him and his own bag. I said that was so for me to see my bag, my bag will call me by itself. I'm happy that, that I'm playing. So the next day, that was maybe Tuesday or so, I just, after the birthday, the next day, I just, ah, we find um, my, my, my own roadside manager, which is Banky, he said, Prime, I'm going to the mainland. I said, well, me too, I'm not doing anything here. My bad, I, actually, I want to come and play with everybody. Through me, people see my bad too. So, and now is we are having courage, so let's just go back to the mainland to chew our brain. Then we can come late, maybe later. So we get to Ikorodu uh, in the morning, in the morning because we left Ikorodu very early, and we get to Ikorodu in we, le we we get to Ikorodu in the morning, and we get into Ikorodu, we find a place to go and rest because the stress was too much, so we have to go and rest in a friend's place. So I was sleeping, my friends were sleeping, my outside mind, everybody we slept off, and the next thing was prime, 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 ah. Only mobile to cook, I say, and my cotton says, I'm about to cook. I will say, why me? And my phone phone was switched off, unless I'll be the first person to hear the news. But my own phone was switched off, so immediately I was shaking and I just go and plug my phone. I just start seeing messages popping up. People were saying, Prime, is it true? This is it true? This ah. I was shocked. I was not like I made I immediately I went online and said, Are you satisfied now? Because they always he's always complaining about people chasing him, this that, and I'm only seeing all videos online, this that. And I was not happy what I saw. So I said, okay, the next thing, like in the next three hours, I just asked seeing my videos. He said he fought with one of his friends at Ikorodu and that one beat him with a ring in his hand. And I was like, hey, <laughs> they even told, they said police was, the world, police invited me. No one invited me. I'm not a criminal. I've never even, for my life, I, I know even more, any police case, you like hear me? Nobody invited me. I was even calling some management that, sir, what should I do? I called like Obagi because military were there, Onyabo was there, um, police was there. So how would I touch him? Because they don't know me, they know you, they would disgrace me instantly. So I was just like smiling. So I was pretending that nothing happened to even them, but mobile was of oh course for Ujugo Gwen. Yeah, now, uh, barista. Yes, please. Uh, since now you are going to walk into the state Yes, I I I I called I called the commissioner this morning and um I've told him we're coming in at 12 o'clock. As you can see, we're here before 12. So I'm taking Owoduni Ibrahim, a.k.a. Pride Boy, to the commissioner of police now, in charge of Pansy, so that he can state his own side uh, of the entire incident. So, and I have trust, 
and confidence in the police. Started eating me and saying that like, hey, prime, prime. I said, okay, look, share it. Next thing, say, yeah, bole. Bole, money, I can bole, but we should disgrace me by any. She bought your wallet at the island. The bole, money, can bole. So I was just smiling, saying it. So I want me, I want to go, I want to go, I want to go, I want to share it. Due to I was still smiling. So the next thing I saw uh, is taking a person and the military. So you guys have had. Um... Ibrahim's update so it changes the whole story again so now we are going to go back to Mobad's wife because this is the event leading to Mobad's exit so it's going to be between Ibrahim, aka Prime Boy, Mobile's wife. If there's anyone that is among them, then we are going to know. So Prime Boy has discussed the misunderstanding that he had with Mobad. It's because Mobad and his wife were having a heated arguments and he was trying to uh, calm Mobad down. So that very day, you guys will uh, naturally understand that Mobad actually had a gig with um, Obikubana. And you guys heard him mention Kubana priest, chief priest. So that was the gig that um, Obad had. And uh, so now everything is being thrown back now to... Then what happened? Because he said he wasn't there. And his bag that was in the car and his director's car bag was actually sent through. Uh, his director actually went there to actually pick it up. And his director, he asked his director that, did you see Mobad? And he says no, that, that he saw his boys playing table tennis. So anyway, then, you know, he and his other friends went to Ireland and they were playing or mainland. <laughs> they were they actually had a, they rested, you know, and uh, they slept. And uh, right from there, phone were ringing. People were calling him that Mubad passed away. Mubad passed away. So that was his whole story. So you, that's his lawyer. So we are going to see what's going what's coming up we will get there we will definitely get there so there's nothing that is complex in here so whoever is telling lie and uh the nurse that actually gave the injection knew who brought mobad who was with mobad right so the only person that wasn't here to talk was mobad so who brought mobad who was with mobad at least the nurse knows right because they said the nurse wasn't actually detained. The nurse that gave the injection, yeah, she gave her own side of the story and she was let go. So probably now they have to go back to the nurse. And probably they are going to put um, Ibrahim on bail. Uh, what do you call it? Is it on bail or whatever? I really don't know. But I'm believing that Ibrahim is not going to take off. So we are going to get to it. Thank you, everybody. So this is the newest update. Thank you.